from you. Ronnie O'Sullivan's first televised match way back in 1990. Nobody had even thought of Yan Bing Tao back in 1990, 10 years before he'd even been born. Let's go and see now a young 14 year old Ronnie in action. Great shot there from Ronnie O'Sullivan, 14 years of age, studying at school at the moment, advanced positional play. Eight. Tremendously exciting prospect, been on the scene for a, three or four years now, and uh, most of the players know about the capabilities of this young lad, but Steve Ventham, his opponent, no slouch either. No. Both these players would have been a bit upset that they drew each other in the first round amongst the favourites for this Snooker Classic this year, the William Hill. Sixteen. Uh, Seventeen. Very confident start here by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, this is the first 22. time I've ever seen this young man, Steve, and already I'm terribly impressed. 23. That's right, he doesn't really look like a 14-year-old at all, does he? He certainly doesn't. And I'm told that he already has the highest personal break of 137. <laughs> Well, obviously, he's a, a very mature player, although he's only 14 years of age. 29. <coughs> 36. <coughs> and tremendous cue power this young lad has got. Without hitting the ball hard, he gets tremendous screw into the cue ball, and that can only mean that he's got perfect timing on the shot. He's already earned 50. himself 50 pounds with this break. Anything between 50 and 75 gets a pound a point. And like Johnny Walker, still going strong. 56. Ronnie enjoying every moment of this, I'm sure. Sixty four. Sixty five. Wondering what it's all about, I would imagine. Seventy two. Oh. Certainly feeling this crowd is Ronnie O'Sullivan. Obviously a name for the future. And I'm sure you're very excited at home as well as we are here. Probably the highest break we've ever seen in the Cockney Classic, I'm not too sure. So, goes into the next bracket now. Any, any, oh, not quite actually. 
just one point short. Should he progress further, he starts to go into two points, two pounds per point. A break from 76 to 100, qualifies for two pounds per point. <laughs> well, he didn't quite make that, but what a fantastic start from this young man. Leading by 75 points to no. Only a possible 59 on the table. Well, that was the end of the match as a contest. A few moments later, young Ronnie was wrapping it all up in some style. Steve Ventham without a single point to his name. 18. from this young man, a resounding victory by 113 points to nil. It's Ronnie O'Sullivan who goes through to the semi-final. There he is, there, the young, precocious talent, Ronnie O'Sullivan. We think uh, that that was at the uh, Thames to Good Classic. Courtney Classic, Courtney I Classic. think it was, yeah. And th that he played Steve Ventham, uh, reappeared about three years ago in the World Seniors, <laughs> oddly enough, out of the blue. I mean, Ronnie was a great player. I don't think, Alan, we would for one second suggest that, um, you know, Jan, who we saw winning there, was, was better than Ronnie at the same age, but the, Ronnie wasn't able to turn pro at that age, was he? No, absolutely not yet. I think you had to be 16 or 18 yeah. back then. 16. Yeah. I, I enjoyed watching that because I've not seen that before. I know of the Cockney Classic and I know Ronnie was in it in his younger yeah. years, so it was nice to see that. I had to hear John Pullman and Steve Davis yes. uh, Brilliant. Pulley, on that one. Uh, an absolute legend, yeah. You've obviously just been to meet Jan.